good morning all. We are back to our JSF class and today we want to look into this Java web development. The topic is uh, database connectivity and insertions of topos. I think our video is on, right? It's on. So let's quickly look into the project on ground. Uh, here, if you want the project, project I so this is what we have. It's just a dummy something. I think I'm going to remove this and if I click on this is login. Uh, I don't need to, uh, to introduce something into this login. It's not login. The first thing we want to do is sign up. Of course, there is going to be rearrangement of the UI. But uh, since we don't have much time, let me uh, go, go to the, the web. I think we can finish inshallah before the prayer's time. So this, uh, what is it? Um, the index, the index, let me see, indexes, then we have the header, right? Is it? We all know this, right? The header. Uh, let me do this so you can see vividly. So in the header, I want to introduce something, uh, admin login and admin, admin creation. Who does this? Who creates admin? The root user, right? So that means root user must log in, then he create. But uh, since we don't have much time today, let's just create the 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 admin admin creation window. Inshallah, by tomorrow we're going to organize it as it's supposed to be. Admin creation. You can see admin user creation or admin account creation. So if you do not, can you see it here? Admin account creation. I'm sorry, this is uh, something the what do you call the the number uh, color is somehow not really clear I think it is okay now right so this maybe we give it something not black let's see let's give it blue for example and uh, Something. Well, I don't know why it's not coming up. Uh, I don't have time to check this actually. Uh, please, let's quickly uh, do something here. Oh, uh, for this brand, whatever this, I'm going to remove it. Part of this, uh, I think we were trying to to test something, right? That's why we introduce it. Or instead of sometimes we don't we don't remove something like this. Rather, you do what you comment it, right? This is the the comment with regards to HTML, right? HTML does its comment like this. So it doesn't get you know, uh, executed. So I think with this, we'll do something. If I click on this admin user creation, let me uh, introduce something so you understand that it is not, um, it is one weight. Oh, sorry, it's one, one link, rather, not what. Admin user creation, if I click, that's not how we're going to leave it, actually. There's going to be something uh, for it. So if I click on it, uh, it does something. So here, I create a, a class. I mean, I create a, a, a page called, what? It just a page, and I give it a admin, admin user, what? Creation, or account creation, or something. So this... I copy this and I, I I create the class. I mean, the page is a just a page, not a class. We only have class in in, in a programming uh, rigorous or completely to to in our programming things. But these ones are pages. So here I name it admin what admin user creation. If you like, we do something like that creation, right? So. Uh, but then in the header, this is the nav. This is the navigation. I press in this and give it dot xhtml. That is the file extension. And uh, here maybe I I copy this for the first time, so we understand that we from here. And uh, uh, maybe I put it in uh, in h1 h1 right like this, and then I run. When I click on it, can you see something? 
please let's go back well let me run it from here if i run and i click on this uh, nav bar it says hello from here admin user, admin user creation i don't want you to keep silent that, that means you guys are not so let's do it together I, I'll, I'll have to be very fast right now because uh, i have maybe just 20 minutes or 25 minutes to round off so what we do here Firstly, we look into our model because we want to create interface that will communicate with this model and enable us to store data, right? So first thing is we need ID. This ID is not is invisible. Everyone, everyone knows that we need username, password, full name, email address, phone number, and all that. So what we do first, I remove this, right? Then I introduce uh, something called container. We all know this, right? This container is what in-houses everything. And then I introduce something uh, call the form right i think i should have copy from what we have done but it's okay maybe for those who are just following today who have started today with us form all right and then uh within form i do what i introduce panel right b panel right and this panel that is where we begin some things right give it the form and the and this within this uh, we introduce fluid that is if we need fluid then we say what we force it right and then uh if you need background or style or something you put in here background or uh, say let's say like green or something light something like blue so if you run You know if okay so this is what you have right because it is there is fluid within right so then uh, within here before the form we need a space right so we have a div here and within here i have what huh i need the form so i have everything complete and within here i have what i have a p and this is what spacer and this spacer i give it what i give it space sorry i give it height and the height could be one around 50 pixels so when i run you see things happening can you see what it has come down so we can begin to start something from here actually we need to have an app bar here we're going to do that later oh uh, so this uh this color is from the side of um what because if i say true here you see nothing you, you i mean you see it covers everything so you can leave it as it is or you take it as we have done it it's, it's, it's same thing only that it all depends what you're doing right yes. so if i need something uh from form or something i put it i give it uh, it's on something so here it falls when you force it down you know this margin this margin if you run this very one you will see this margin i mean you will see this if i click can you see we have margin so that's the difference between fluid and all that then uh i think for the ui we don't have to, to talk much here so here i need title and the title is what admin user sorry not small screen title uh i need what uh, uh, that is admin user admin user creation so just admin user Sorry, admin user account. You can just say admin user account sign up or something. Something, I think. It's all right. So if you run, can you see it here? Mm. I think this this space is too much. It's it be hundred. So here, what we wanted doing here, it's to come up with um, a div, and this div should contain, huh? This should contain everything class so we are this is bootstrap right we are bootstrapping here uh column uh, i need the whole 12 column here i think the 12 column will work 12 column so we divide it into two six six oh let us just go by 12 column and pick uh say one 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 pa, pa. so we have b here and this b is row one power row i think 
one item for row or one element for row. Okay, then here I need what? Another B and column. You see, had somebody sent this to me? I don't, I don't want to copy from my other project. We would have just started doing the functionalities. So here, the first thing here we need is what the username. So this username is going to be we're using B here as well. The what? The input text, right? The input text. I don't need the back. I mean the rest of this. I'll make it one tag library. I mean single tag. Simon, if you ask me a question, I will never answer you. Listen and understand because video is being covered, so you are covered. If you understand this, you run your video and you can do it. But as I'm doing, you're doing, I don't know if this is what you maybe if you understand doing that username. Right? That's why sometimes I make mistakes and no one is even recognizing that there is a mistake in there. So what, of course, uh, uh, that is the level, right? So if you need, okay, we want it, uh, uh, sorry, if you need an ID here, you, you bring in ID and this ID is going to be what username. So level here, uh, required, whether it is required or not. That is, is it compulsory? Yes, it is compulsory. So you make it true, right? And then you give us the required what? Message. The required message. Thank you. The required message should be what? The required message. You saying true. Please. Supply. Supply username. So this is the first thing we do. And I think with this, then uh, within the form, I introduce either grow. Let me see if grow will work. I introduce grow, right? The ID, the same message, message one, for example. So within the div, within the div or even outside it. Let's introduce a button. I want us to be ch uh, checking our work. Let's introduce a button. And the button is going to be what? Command button. This command button is what? Huh? The command button is, say, sign up or register. Right? right? So the value Let's say register, for example, or sign up, or anything. Uh, it's going to update what? Message one, for now. So, let's run. I click on admin. Can you see what we've done? All right. Um, there are other things you could do with regards to uh, design, but uh, for now, I'm after the functionalities. If I click on this, it tells me what? This is what? A grow. This is what? A grow. But if you can combine it together with message, if you want message, then you can com come up with what? A message. Here, maybe you now say B, message or messages then you give it id and call and update it as well the id must differ from that of message one let's say message two then you copy this into the the button here separate them by by what by comma and then you run then if you click this this comes out right like the the message is all right thank you yes and you know good faces is not working with message it's messages so can you see sometimes um uh, users are not really paying attention to 
some things. So, but the girl calls your attention. So you see something coming up and going up um, at the same time. You can combine the two, you can remove it. It all depends with your de design and all that. This is not our our aim. So we've gotten one thing here. The next is some. Um, and one single div, we can introduce everything. Since we are not segregated, we're not coming up with design of two columns or what. So next is what? Password, right? So I'm going to introduce this and, and just make uh, some small changes. I've copied it here. And here I, I give it what? Password. Password. But this is uh, it's not going to be input text. It's going to be input secret, 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 input secret, because it is password. If you do not do this, your, somebody's password will be seen by others. All right? So uh, here, password. And then let's quickly run. Why is this coming up? Okay, I called it and I'm querying it. So this now, two of them are there. What next? Full name, email, phone number, status. Okay. So I think, uh, please uh, give me uh, information when, when, when asked. Full name, right? Yes. Full name is full name one word English wise? Is it a word or there are they two? There are two words, so that means we have to separate, right? There are two words, like like this. Are you sure? Talk. What next? Email, phone number. Email, email. Email. Yes, this should be. Um, is it time? Hmm. Phone number. Phone number. Yeah, sometimes you just put phone. That's why we say email. You don't need to be. Wasting time much much about things. Then status here you're not going to put in status. All right, we're going to we'll take care of that at the back end. The status is whether somebody is whether somebody's account is being locked or not, whether it is active or not. Then data card. This also will be taken care of. Yes, we don't we don't put that in the in the front end. That will be handled from the back end side. So this is what we've designed. I don't know whether the design is okay. We we'll have no time to beautify it and do all this. Huh? Very okay, right? But then the, this should be at the right here. I think we did that in our last uh, something. Just introduce this. Yes, and align it to right. So it will be there. I think let's do that right now. Introduce another div here. I think we need to stop somewhere. Introduce another div here. Align it to what? Right alignment. Right alignment. So if you click, it comes up like this. Okay, all you done in. Thank you. So you see now, Osimo, that did mean you you were doing what you started doing. You'll be able to do this correction for us. Password. That's why I copy and paste. I don't do copy and paste. It's just that. Um, if you do copy and paste in most cases actually it comes up with its own uh, issues actually full name what next email email and phone and what phone number it seems that actually it is time it is already time let me run this please I would like everybody to come up with this design. Bring it tomorrow. Have this in your system. Build. So we'll put in the functionality. I had wanted us to do the functionality things. Actually, we didn't start on time. Uh, inshallah, I will try to come up, to come in here tomorrow on time, before 9 o'clock. We will start before 9 o'clock, inshallah. Uh, for those of you who can do some kinds of functionalities, if you want to add, if you, if you know how to do these things, Please start. 
So tomorrow we're going to introduce we introduce the code that enables us whenever whenever we click on register whatever name whatever information we have supplied here it push it to this database server and it push it to the table. So connectivity whatever JDBC connectivity and all that will be done tomorrow. And the, the something we're going to stop here. This is not my aim, but uh, I have no option. Actually, there are other things I'm going to do after one o'clock. Yes, Even though my timing is not okay here. So, mm -hmm. thank you for watching.